Don't you know each cloud could take out of heaven? How can you be so happy with it so wet and miserable out there? Don't knock it, Wheezy. When you own your own cleaners, there's money in the mud. <laughs> I don't want you getting money all over the rugs, so take the rubbers off. The weather's been beautiful. It's been raining for three days now. I've been to all four stores and business is booming. Hmm, whoopee for you. But if I have to stay cooped up in here one more day, I'm gonna go off my rocker. What are you talking about, Weezy? How can living in a beautiful apartment like this drive anybody crazy? <laughs> Louise, we've run out of tea again. <laughs> Hello, George. Hi, Mama. Hi, <laughs> Phil. Mm, oh, just fine, considering that I've been cooped up here for three days with no one to talk to. <laughs> Mother Jefferson, you could always go home. <laughs> and take a chance of slipping on the ice. I don't see no ice out there. That's the worst kind when you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, since I can't have a cup of tea, I'll just have to have a cup of sherry. <laughs> Look, Weezy, if Mama's getting on your nerves, I'll send her home in a cab. Oh, no, George, let her stay. You know how old folks are. They're afraid if they fall, they'll never get back up on their feet again. Oh, that's sweet of you, Weezy, and smart, too. Huh? If she'd walked out there and slipped on the sidewalk, you know who she'd blame. She'd say I pushed her. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, did you put fresh towels in the bathroom? Yes, Mother Jefferson. I mean today. Yes, Mother Jefferson. And what about my wild rose beauty bath? It's there. Good. Then I can take my bubble bath. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> well, what else has been happening around here? Well, the Willises invited us to a cocktail party Saturday night. No way. <laughs> but I'd like to go. You know Tom works for a publisher. There'll be some famous authors there. There'll also be the famous vanilla and chocolate Willises there. <laughs> So forget it. Wasn't there anything else? Any mail? Just bills, nothing interesting. Oh, but you did get a call from uh, Richard Davis. Richard? I don't know no Richard Davis. Well, that's interesting. He said you were his best friend. You two grew up together. I don't remember going up with no Richard Davis. Well, he said that you and he and Steamy Robinson and your cousin Velma used to meet in the pigeon coop on the roof. Monk Davis called? Why didn't you tell me it was Monk Davis? Because he said his name was Richard Davis. Monk Davis is Richard Davis. Don't be so dumb. What did you tell him? I told him you'd be home later. What'd you do a dumb thing like that for? If he calls again, so don't answer. <laughs> George, I don't understand you. Why don't you want to see your best friend? He ain't my best friend. I don't even like him enough to be my worst friend. <laughs> Well, you must have liked him a little bit. You fixed him up with your cousin in the pigeon coop. <laughs> Fixing Monk up with Velma meant I didn't like him. We didn't call her Oink Jefferson for nothing. 